Gillette, uh, fifth place in the Tour de France Femme in the end. I guess you're quite happy. Yeah, I'm really happy, uh, especially after the start I had. Uh, yeah, we said we will see in the end of the week what it gives, and top five is really good. Um, I gave really everything every day, so I'm really happy. Take a step back to yesterday. How, how, much, how much frustration was there in the evening? Uh, you tried and then tried it again, and then in the end didn't win the time there. Yeah, I mean, I uh, could be a bit frustrated, but I tried to not think too much about it. And maybe I did too much, but also the others didn't do really a lot. So it's not only on me. And yeah, I was still happy to be with the best and actually to be a bit playing, which was actually nice. And I felt good, so I took confidence out of it. And I could feel the recovery was good. So. I just took motivation out of it. Take us a bit through the time trial. You started and it was quite loud um, <laughs> around here. How, how was it out there? Yeah, it was amazing. I heard so many people cheering for me. I could not even hear the radio anymore. It was uh, yeah, just really awesome. And uh, time splits, did you have them? When did you know that you have movement? Yeah, I actually didn't know really because I could not really hear much in the downhill. And But then my DS told me that I was close to Mont Vleuten, so I was like, well, must be not too bad then. And, uh, then I just gave everything to the end and I caught Anna Santa Esteban, which was also motivating for me. What are you taking from this now for the coming weeks? I mean, there's World Championships coming up also on the time trial, I guess. Um, what are you taking? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it already. I will uh, recover a bit and then I will go already to Glasgow in, uh, on Thursday. So I'm motivated to meet the French team again after a nice week with the team here. And I think it will be great there. So. Thank you.